I am Dee Borha, I am here to share my experience, I was a modern young girl and did not know God, I dressed indecently and did not live in the fear of God, I knew the Lord through a servant of God who kept telling me to come to Christ and said I was to serve God, and he talked to me about the good news of the gospel every time he called me. It was not easy for him because I was abusive towards him and I was cutting the phone every time he talked about salvation, but he insisted and never gave up for my soul, I was possessed by a demon who made the gospel unbearable in my ears but the pastor kept proclaiming the gospel to me, I was at home not feeling well, for I felt very uncomfortable, as if my body was not mine, I called my friend abroad and told her I am not feeling my body as usual, it is as if I am dying. She rebuked me for talking that way, since I don't like medication, I went to bath and then went to sleep hoping to take medication later, when I went to sleep, few minutes I woke up, to my surprise I saw my body was still laying down and I realized that I had become too, I was so shocked and in terror, I said am I dead, really I am dead, I was already in tears to learn that I was dead, I remember before entering the house I saw my loved ones cooking before the house. When I look at them I saw that nothing have changed around for they kept cooking the food and everything seems normal, except that I was no longer in my body for I had become too, I was crying for terror filled me, I knew that I was dead, I tried to touch a boy that was there but there was no contact with the material world, I called my sister but she could not hear me, I saw my friend in the street and I wanted to open the gate to join her, but I was unable to hold the door handler and when I called my friend she could not hear me, I approach her in order to touch but there is no contact between the living and the dead, I told myself I have to accept that I am dead and there is nothing that I can do about it, but there was certainty in my soul that I was going to hell, for ignoring the gospel, I said, Lord, I died in my sin just like that, have pity on my soul, I began to walk around the place and suddenly I disappear and landed in a place where there was a huge gate that was grey and striking, there were guardian angels holding swords of fire and standing before the gate, upon the wall it was written the king of king, I was in wonder and said where am I, suddenly the gate was open for me and I felt the conviction to enter, when I got inside brother I never saw such a beautiful place before, I said what is this wonderful world. I was moving in the celestial world and was in wonder when I saw another angelic being, I said to him, you are an angel of God, he said yes I am, I said what is your name, he said I am Earl, I said are you a man or woman, he laughed and said angels are not male or female, I said really what about all the illustration of angel we see in the world, he said man imagination cannot grab God mysteries, I asked him, am I dead, he laughed and said, you are going back to earth after this visit, you have been invited here and the person who invited you must meet you, I realized that I talked to the angel with a celestial language that was mysterious, I said to the angel where am I, he said you are in the place of rest, I said is it the paradise of God, he said no it's not yet opened, it was another world, here people were dressed in the purest white walking the street of gold and getting on with their heavenly occupation, a world like the earth but tremendously beautiful and perfect, people walk round on their head, golden belt and there were animal just like on the earth, the angel told me, the one who invited you want to see you, then suddenly I see in the horizon a character sitting on a throne, he was really far yet he was shining with tremendous light, though he was far I was unable to look at him because of the glorious light, I noticed before his throne was a table which had no end, there were all kind of fruit and food on the table, the man on the throne said, daughter of the earth, come forward, I was feeling peace in my heart and secure even if it was the first time, the more I advance forward I saw the light was less intense so that I will see him, it is when he stretched his hand that I said this must be Jesus Christ because his hand had scars, when I look at his face I saw that the eyes of Jesus were different from human eye, I saw that they were green and blue. I am unable to describe his hair, I said to the Lord, really you invited me here, I said Lord why are there a lot of food and fruit on the table but there are nobody here, he said the table is ready, but the chairs of the elect are empty because the people I die for have sold me and have embraced evil, they prefer to live in sin instead of holiness, they sold me, as the Lord was speaking his eyes was shedding tear that was turning to blood. 
he was so sad that his sadness affected me, I said Lord I can do something to help. He said really you want to help me, I said yes tell me what can I do to help. He said you really want to help, since you want to help me, see how people are selling me, he showed me leader and preacher and said, this is how they are selling my grace which they have received freely, they are selling my word because of money and they prefer the devil over me, while I was talking with the Lord, I felt like someone pushing me on the back, and I felt like I was falling, I was actually falling like someone who was falling from a plane directly into an ocean of fire, which was the place of torment, brother and sister, every second and minute that pass countless people die all over the world and fall in the place of torment, you know how the rain drop fall in a strong rain, people were falling like drops of rain in this world of fire every second, you cannot imagine the calm of the gate of heaven, and the countless lost souls that fall in the impossible sea of fire of hell, just imagine that you cannot bear the fire of the kitchen, the fire in the place of torment is more than the lava of the volcano, it is beyond human understanding and imagination, every second people are screaming, inside the fire they are prison cells, for every kind of sins that people commit on the land there are different cells, before every prison it was written place of those who smoke, place of those who drink, place of those who watch pornography, for witches, fornicators etc., when I fell in the fire I began to burn and scream to God to get me out, the heat was great that I sought water but there I no water in hell. I was taken from the place where I fell in the fire to the place of fornicator and sexual sins, where I saw demons raping women abusing them in a violent and brutal way, we cannot go to that place, I was not going through the same torment like them but I was burning. The angel said you fell here because you were going out with all kind of men, I said if you get me out of here I will change and abandon that lifestyle, but get me out of here, and I need water. I kept burning and screaming like the other, I was doomed for no man can save you when you fall in that place, everyone was undergoing their punishment, they threw me to another place where there was serpent entering in people mouth and going out through other orifices, demon were punishing these soul with sharp instrument and butchered their tongues, I said why am I here? The angel said you have forgotten that you were telling lies and you were lying the way you breathe, this is the place of people who lie. The angel said you are here because you live telling lies, the Bible say the father of lies is the devil, when you were lying you had already become his daughter, you will stay here, I said no way, I recognize my mistake, may the Lord forgive me. But there was no one that could help me while I was burning, I found even children in this place because of lies, toddler who lies, when death interrupt their life they fall in this section of hell. The angel took me out of here and dropped me in the section of people that abort, I said I never aborted. The angel said how can you say that you never aborted, when you were sleeping with men you were using condom, which means abortion, and you aborted, you are the same with women who practice abortion in the eyes of the Lord, when men waste their seed that is abortion, I said I did not know, he said this is your judgment you are a killer when you are wasting sperm with men. I said I did not know I am sorry, get me out of here, I promise to serve God if you get me out, I was burning and fire was coming out of my eyes, ears, nose and mouth, you cannot imagine the scream, I was taken to another section where I met a man who died in 1986 and fell here, he was a drug trafficker, he told me, I was drunk after drinking beers and I died in that condition, he was begging Satan to let him out of this place. I learned that the devil gave him a big bottle of beer and told him, if you finish it I will let you go back to earth, this beer was actually acid that he drank, which destroy his body, to my surprise I saw in this place children who were often given alcohol by their parent whenever they drink, I said how can children burn in fire like this, I thought they were angel, they were children of three, four and five year burning in the fire, I saw many section of hell for all kind of sins such as witchcraft, homosexuality, then I saw a particular woman in a room that was in fire but she was not burning, she was combing her hair and was dressed with indecent robe, she was cutting her hair which would turn to wig, that women are wearing these days, the angel said do you know that lady, she is the goddess Jezebel, in the following room I saw another female character, the angel said she is the goddess Jacqueline, 
she work with cosmetic and beauty firm, there are many lipstick and beauty pencil called Jacqueline, this female goddess is a demon of water, and when women use her items they are marked with the number of the beast on their hand and forehead, the enemy has modernized his method of soul winning. I saw souls of women who wear wig in the flames of hell in unbearable torment, it was made known to me wig is an offering and sacrifice to the gods, in pagan religion women offer their hair to gods, and their sins are transferred to the hair that they had offered to their god, so that they will become purified, imagine a lady wearing wig in which sins were transferred to, she automatically receive these sins, in this segment of Jezebel and Jacqueline, I saw all the global brands that you know, such as Gucci. Xara, Louis Vuitton, Channel and other, I saw a symbol that many firms uses but it is satanic, I saw in the flames many pastors and gospel musician from all over the world, cells of false prophet, the cells of occultist, cell of fornicators, then I saw my mother and cousin, since I was burning I was dealing with my own pain and I could not focus on them, because in the fire everyone is concentrated on his situation of torment. Finally I was removed from the fire and taken back to the place of rest. The angel led me to the crystal river, I was plunged inside this sea of crystal and then I came out, I receive a white garment and sandal, when we left the clear water of life I began to visit the place of rest, where I saw a secular musician, we call Kester, he sensed that he was in the end of his life and converted not long before he died. I saw the singer brother Alan and the prophet Simon that people worship. He gave me a message to warn those who are worshipping him to stop, because he is not God but a messenger, he ate I am deprived of God glory because God does not share his glory, he told me his life, how he was born and called to serve God, he is only a messenger not God, tell that to those who worship and pay to me.